So this next set of task, uh, talks are going to be uh, lightning talks. So there will be no Q&A, right? You can talk to speakers later on and ask your doubts. And with that, let me start uh, uh, by welcoming our next speaker. She's from Philippines. And she's going to talk about importance of showing up and leveraging modern technologies for branding. So let's welcome Jerlinia on the stage. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Have you taken your lunch already? Yes. yes, okay. So again, good afternoon. My name is Jerlinia, and I'm from the Philippines. Philippines. So yeah, Hi, hello, Filipinos. So a little bit of backstory. So I have grown my digital agent, digital studio rather, in the past three years, and we have helped more than 50 businesses with branding and website design and development through WordPress. So these are the media outlets that our clients were published and also our works are published as well. So today I'm going to talk about the power of personal branding in the AI, AI era. Okay, so just a raise of hand. Anyone here are service providers? Yeah? Business owners or agency owners? Yeah, there's a lot of hands here. Or people working under an agency? Okay, at one point, have you had a hard time marketing yourself? Or getting inbound leads? Getting clients? Or even applying for a job? Okay, so I'm going to help you out today. So before anything else, let's start off with what personal branding is. So when we talk about personal branding, it is the intentional and strategic process of creating a, an, an identity, positive identity or image around oneself. So it is communicating your values, your skills, your expertise to everyone, basically. But hey, Jerlinia, is branding just a trend? No, it's not. It has been exist it existed for a long time already. No? Are you familiar with these things? The television, the magazines, newspaper? Before personal branding is built through in-person connections, um, your reputation, and also uh, media outlets such as televisions, magazines, and newspapers. But eventually it had a drastic change. So what happened with the internet? Personal branding had a drastic shift with um, internet. And um, with the rise and transition to digital platforms such as websites, blogs, social media platforms such as LinkedIn, now we can showcase our skills globally, right? So this created an avenue and also an opportunity for us to engage in a wider audience globally think outside the box and establish our online presence. So any simple formula with personal branding, your target audience can, one, know who you are, two, understand how you can help them with their problems, three, know what you stand for, and four, why you are worth choosing over your competitors. At the end of the day, your personal brand attracts people to you. Now, let's go down to business. How can personal branding help me? Okay, so with personal branding, it can help you to one, lead more, two, win more, three, show more, and four, earn more. Who doesn't want to earn more, right? Right? Yes. Okay, so when people recognize, so let's start off with leading more. So having a personal brand means you can lead more. So when people recognize your skills, your expertise, and your values, uh, these people are going to trust your judgment. Mm. Then this would lead to leadership opportunities. So like the senior job, creative director roles. And I have an example here. Who knows this person? Yeah, Chris Doe, he's very popular. So in design and marketing. So Chris Doe is an educator for my, um, uh, creatives and marketing. So he has this educational platform called The Future. So he teaches design, marketing, anything about creatives to free freelancers and designers. Now, um, where does the lead more um, take into action? So as he expertly 
engaged and tells you his knowledge, he eventually became an expert and a leader in the field. Okay? Next, win more. Okay? When we talk about win more, uh, if your, uh, your personal brand would help you to um, bring out if you're someone who brings the meat to the table, who brings value to the table, uh, whether it is landing a job, uh, getting a new client, closing a deal, or uh, maybe getting results for your clients. So another example again, Chris Doe here. So he became a valuable asset in the industry, and he has been winning the hearts of his target audience, meaning getting more leads, getting more people into his platform. Next. Show more. So apparently, research shows that 67% of employers and business owners use social media to cite opportunities and also job listings. So when we talk about show more, you show more of you, and eventually this would help us out attract more eyeballs to you. And yeah, again, Chris Doe here with his social media platforms, his podcasts, his videos, um, this type of attraction marketing helps him to be seen everywhere. And when we, whenever we see him in, in our YouTube, in our feeds, uh, we recognize this best person and, oh, this person is a leader in this field. And that's called brand recall. So lastly, earn more. So with the combined effects of the leadership opportunities, winning opportunities, and also visibility, well, there's going to be earning potential because a high-value service provider equates to people are willing to pay premium. Okay, so now, how are we going to leverage AI for personal branding? There's actually a lot of ways. But number one thing that we could maximize it on is content creation. So with AI, we could be able to generate written contents, uh, uh, generate topics, uh, maybe create designs and graphics, and also edit videos. So what are these tools? Have you tried using these tools? Yes. Okay, so for ChatGPT, it can be used for concepts and themes, and also Gemini, and for Canva AI, or for graphics, and also Adobe Suite, you could also use that. Grammarly, for your grammar, basically, for checking, and also for videos, we have your CapCut and your Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're someone who is keen on creating talking head videos, it's going to help you out because it automatically translates your script. Now, with all of these tools, uh, Jorlinia, how are we going to stay relevant? How are we going to stay authentic and genuine? You know, because AI is, it's robotic. Sometimes the results are meh, not so good. So in maintaining a genuine and authentic touch, this involves, one, aligning your values, make your voice shine through, and actions consist consistently, meaning with no consistent actions, there's no progress. So when we think about it like, oh, I'm not showing up online, so there's no progress. Okay, so now, what are the tips on maintaining a genuine or human, humanly touch or authentic brand? One, you need to have human touch. And what is that? We need to put out your personal insights, your thought process, your creative direction, your creative process, your unique perspectives, your stories, everything. That's the human touch. Two, review and edit. Please, if you're someone who um, copy, paste, and post everything, please, please don't do that. Let's review and edit, okay? Accordingly and to make it as your own. Like, put out your brand voice out there, put out your humor, and let your messaging shine through, such as your values, the li values that you live by, and the topics that you are passionate about. Next, be transparent, okay? So if we are using like AI, let's create content on how we are going to leverage it. So if you are, um, let's, content, let's create content on how you are going to leverage it. If you're someone who goes to, um, who is frequent in LinkedIn, you're going to see a lot of industry leaders create content like this because a lot of people needs or a lot of people wants like tips on how you could leverage AI. Now, down to the last part, how are we going to show up? Jolina, how can we show up? 
So here's what I've been doing in the past three years. So in the past three years, I've been consistently doing content, and I've been consistently um, putting out my source and knowledge and support to my colleagues and peers. So we can do this by creating value, valuable posts, valuable insights, mark at tips, um, doing educational webinars, and also doing like workshops with your colleagues. Another thing that we could do is embracing vulnerability. Of course, um, it's like putting in a human touch to your content because it is something that people could relate to and create a shared experience. So in here, uh, like my experience has having my big talk in uh, Philippines, Philippines and Manila, I talk how the jitters I've been through, like my struggles as a business owner. And lastly, be present and just show up. So show up for commitments, show up for events, show up for conferences, connect, build connections, build relationships, as this would help you in creating that value of respect and commitment to others, your working dynamics. So I just want to feature here, like in Cebu, we are building a community of freelancers. So we have been showing up and giving value to these freelancers who have went through the same journey as us before. And now, after the planting season, what are we going to do? We are going to reap the, reap the fruits of our labor. So now, I got offers here and there. So this is in LinkedIn and other like uh, media outlets out there. So just a little uh, backstory. That first uh, square there, um, opportunity there, that was the first job that I worked for after I graduated college. But now they are asking me or they are giving me a creative opportunity for a creative director role. So just a full circle moment. And also I was able to talk and do branding workshops locally in the, in the Philippines and even featured in LinkedIn in the Philippines as one of the 100 most influential women. And lastly, this one, this is one of my wins here. This event opened me up to WordCamp. This is the WordCamp Cebu, and that's the first time I talk there. So one of the speakers here in WordCamp Cebu is also here around the crowd. So, but on a deeper note, um, like personal branding helped me to engage to more clients, to more qualified clients, and it helped me grow my business eventually and change the trajectory of my life. Who would have thought someone from the Philippines would be talking here today in front of you internationally? So, yeah, uh, personal branding is not optional or optional. It is essential and inevitable in this time of day. So, but, it, but I just want to give you a heads up. Personal branding is a long-term game, and you better start now. Okay, so again, thank you everyone. My name is Rudinia Galgo, and if you have branding and marketing questions, uh, you could also connect with me at my socials at Jelinia Galgo. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jelinia. Thank you. Oh, okay.